I'm just imagining this this collection of like maybe high school students who are paid to drive that car around and then run away. Yeah. Should be a little like right after the screeching. You know? Yes. All right, going back to Quint. This, uh, this couldn't have waited until we got a radio for sure. No. Yeah, the, the expected way to play this is to do the town hall meeting so you've met everyone, you've got their base story, and then you do their individual quests that lead up to the, you know, because a lot of this doesn't mean anything yet. Right. I mean, I guess, okay, like, somebody's doing drugs and they knew Anna, so I guess that's something, but... So is the town population literally 26, if everybody's, uh, or 24, if everybody's a, uh, letter of the alphabet? Um, well, uh, York says something, uh, at some point where he thinks of people as, uh, suspects, victims, or vegetables. Um, and so, uh, he's got the, the 26 or 24 people are, are suspects or, or somehow involved in the crime, and everyone else just doesn't count. Ah, uh, I see. And in fact, they, they won't have any way to interact with them if, when you run into them at the diner or something. Alright, fair enough. It's not a real healthy way to look at the world. Well, unless you're a video game character, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you can't really pattern your life on video game characters. Otherwise, my Pac-Man years would have led me to... Uh, Becoming a pill popper. Um, I, uh, I'm desperately trying to think of a good game to reference here. It's not like I played a lot of Bionic Commando when I was younger, but it doesn't really leave any amusing jokes. I used to play solitaire, and I keep using jacks to slap queens. It's a bit of a reach. A little bit of reach, yeah. All right, here we go, Quint. Ooh, blackjack would have been a better. Blackjack to slap a queen. Hmm. I can't accept it. Where did you get that? Becky gave Killed it to Becky. Me. She also told me to tell you that she can't accept it. Where are That's you not what she said. What does that mean? Exactly what it sounds like, Quint. I think she was extremely worried about you. I'm just guessing, but... She's shipping you and me. She's been giving you the plants <laughs> to make the red powder. Hasn't she? Then you rode your bike out of town. You went on a trip, and you sometimes I just want to get on my somehow. bike and leave. You bought that ring with the money. That's why she gave me the ring. She wants to stop you from making any more trips. She doesn't want you to get involved. What's the size anymore of his wallet this. chain? That's gonna but get caught in stuff. I did all this for her. I started out delivering <laughs> because I wanted the extra cash. But you know, things like this change over time, as you can see. Her family is loaded it, enough cash. and I live in a trailer house. She's out of my league, See, you know? He sounds like a teenager, <laughs> but his model doesn't really look like one. I wanted to be sure. the kind of guy she could be with. Quint, you already are. Sounds like a Dutch teenager. You didn't need money for that. <laughs> so Magic got inside you all along. Because of me? <laughs> no, no, Quint. Hmm? You can do things over. You're still young. I think. <laughs> Forever you young. Me just for a little while. I want to apologize to her. It's not an illegal I drug. It's not I'll even been discovered. Jerk again. Just give me a little time. Please? I'll turn myself it's in like once I've talked to her, okay? Zach, what is he talking about? Huh? Why would I arrest an innocent youth such as yourself? Quint, I'm busy with a murder investigation here. We can know about why I'm time, running back okay? and forth If you really want guys. to confess, you could always try a church. It, it is a little creepy to be what running back and forth between teenage lovers. It... It isn't much. Here, but have I want my you tool. To take this as a thank you gift. <laughs> uh, I really don't want your used tool, dude. But okay. Zach, another young life saver. It's uh, an infinite melee weapon. It won't break, so it is useful. Yeah, but I mean, can you imagine like a, an episode of uh, Numbers or uh, whatever, and somebody's like, "Thanks for solving this case for me. Have a wrench." <laughs> yes. The X Files, there. That's a better go-to. I don't even know if Numbers is the FBI. 
The best prize for a side quest is the guitar. Greg turns, turns into like a desperado. <laughs> That'd be fun. It'd be neat if the game just periodically switched genres without warning. Well, I guess it sort of does. We got this teen romance thing going. Sure. This drug drama. I will be amazed if Geekmeister now gets to the sheriff's office with like five minutes to spare. <laughs> I can see him standing in front of the sheriff's office and smoking a cigarette until one minute till. I, I mean, as entertaining as that random fetch quest was, uh, that was like a disguise fetch quest. It's like not until the end do you realize, oh, it was a fetch quest all along. But, right. Uh, Oh, oh, it's getting closer, it's getting closer. Don't encourage him. <laughs> oh, look, they're putting up a new Walmart. <laughs> Always. Uh, my teeny tiny New England town I grew up in, I remember we were putting up a Walmart for a long time in what used to be a cow pasture. Don't get more American than that. Well, I mean, Bob Seger could have been playing the whole time. <laughs> oh, he was. <laughs> been a little more American. I realized the other day I listened to Mellencamp's Pink Houses, and now I, I, it, now it sounds optimistic. <laughs> oh. Like things have gotten so bad that now I'm like, man, a little pink house would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Holy shit, holy shit, are we, are we, are we? Or, uh... No, no, you son of a bitch, keep my search. Just teasing us with them. With that, like, uh, I'm gonna get within 200 yards and then just fucking go. That folk song, uh, Houses Made of Ticky Tacky, all in a row. A house? I, I could have a house? <laughs> I'm not even sure what Ticky Tacky is. I don't know if they know either. Oh look, he's getting his uh, lines to match up, that's nice. Oh, cute! I hope he's doing that on purpose. Yeah. Or he's not doing it very well. I think he, he might start, like got a call there or something. <laughs> hey, hey, Grandma, yeah, I'm just playing a video game. Well, he's vaguely in the direction of the... But he's going to the lake. I bet he's going to go fishing. Oh. The lake suddenly grew trees. Happens. <laughs> Usually not the suddenly part. Uh, Alright, okay. okay. Are you going to the mill? No, this is the hotel. Yes, it's the hotel. What is he doing in the hotel? Is he gonna sleep? It's a little Maybe. early. Maybe he Instead just wants to go talk to that old woman again. Potato. No, my potato. Oh, hi. What's he gonna buy now? Crackers? What? Buy every single thing. This Twice. town is full of crackers. <laughs> With one exception. Exactly one exception in the entire town. And you'll groan when you hear his name. Is it Rufus? <laughs> nope. It's Usher. <laughs> uh, Alright, so, uh... So probably not a lot of people here are gonna watch Dear White People, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Why aren't some people upset about that, too? <laughs> If it doesn't apply to you, room with the mirror. yeah, that's what he came here to save. You know, there's a save point in the sheriff's office. <laughs> he came here for the crackers primarily, I guess. Yeah, but crackers don't matter. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get hate comments uh, if we're not careful. But that would mean comments. <laughs> Yay, comments! Yay! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh now he has a little park on. Yep, the ma magic rain poncho. Uh, you mentioned the weather doll earlier. Um, that actually, if you, t there's no way to know in game, but if you've got it in your possession, it replenishes health as long as you've got it right side up when it's sunny or upside down when it's rainy. Wow. No way to know that. So this is basically just one of those games that hates you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, it's like driving's impossible, everything is a trick, like, it's really just a game that exists to taunt the player. And all the helpful stuff is entirely hidden unless you watch someone's YouTube video. Uh... Is he gonna make it? Stop whistling. I can't imagine that he's even trying to at this point. No. Probably just on our way to see Usha. Although, uh, when it rains... Maybe Wars, not. am I right? Yay. Uh, the, the zombie things come out in the rain. But maybe not until after the town hall. A lot of... I mean, they expect you to go to town hall, go to the sheriff's office, and then to town hall really quick, really early. It's one of those things where they, they have a meeting with all the townspeople, and they say, watch out for your children. A girl has died, so the pattern is the teenage girls are in danger. Which is more or less true, but he has no evidence of it, really. This is one of those, uh, well, they're in danger because he's in town. I'm, I'm interested <laughs> in the murders of young women. <laughs> yes, I believe you're correct. Yeah, just a little safety tip for anyone listening at home. If, if a strange man ever says that to you, leave the room of the Also, if Angela Lansbury's in town, be very careful. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice current reference there. <laughs> the kids love it. By the time, by the time this uh, bit comes out, I'm sure that they will have done a remake of it. <laughs> starring Keanu Reeves. <laughs> no, oh no, starring some twenty-year-old girl. You know? Oh yes. Um, it's like the new, the new Beth, MacGyver. Is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go yes, through Anna Graham's file at Why the sheriff's ask? office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then. Uh, oh, I guess he's hungry. Nope. He is literally waiting till after his appointment. He's done. He's missed it. He's waiting. Okay. This stuff yeah, that happens this, only at night. This, this place is closed, so I guess we gotta wait for them to get home? Yep. They were probably at the sheriff's office waiting for him. Yeah, yeah. This is the sheriff's. <laughs> we're just like, hey, you can make it to your office, but... I'm here now. You want to talk? Oh, it's Emily's house. Uh, the deputy. Mm. Just taking your food. Hope that's cool. And some money you leave floating around the floor. Yeah. Superwoman. That's not a good framing of that image in the Superwoman poster. <laughs> Superwoman down on a road. Go talk to Emily. Nope. F that noise. Can we go up the stairs? Yeah, all right. We're gonna go up and break some pots up here. Uh, okay. No, oh, Emily Wyatt. Good. Now you have. Oh, the one who was in the bunny outfit earlier. Got it. Oh uh, yes, that's her. Yeah, I noticed in the kitchen she's not wearing the bunny outfit. So. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if it's the bunny outfit just replaces her uniform and she's at home now, or if he's sw swapped it. Yeah, it's weird. There, there are certain things that he's obviously um, cutting out, but yeah, uh, Emily has asked York so to help her with her cooking. Experiment coming along. And An experiment. She needs cheese. I'm doing my That's best well. to learn how to cook better. Thank you very much. Sorry if I touched a nerve. I just couldn't resist it. Well, anyways, how about trying a taste for me, then? You mean a taste of this? Well, I think it came out pretty good. But I want to hear other people's opinions so I can improve my cooking. So come on, please. This is shocking, Zach. She's serious. Uh, his reaction doesn't make a lot of sense. If he'd done it in the right order, it would be well established that she's a very bad cook. Like, so, what do you think? 
Come well, on, tell me. I think the giant black stain on the wall maybe it isn't uh, entirely implies that inedible. If uh, Geekmeister takes a look into the trash can, there's some further evidence. What's the best way of saying that, then, Zach? Ah, of course. It tastes like a nice try. <sighs> Emily, no need to get so depressed. This dish just needs one more ingredient. You need a wow, certain wow, fermented wow. dairy product, and this will be perfect. A dairy product? What? Well, if we get the chance, Zach yogurt. and I will bring it to you. Then we can mix it in, and I'll try it Man, again, yogurt. okay? What do you say? Thank you, Agent York. I won't get my hopes up too high, but I'll be here. Like she's cooking fondue. Yeah. I think she's making macaroni and cheese, if memory serves. Well, macaroni without the cheese is still, I mean, it's still okay. She's managed to get a a pan of pasta with black smoke, though, so... <laughs> Emily, the answer is cheese. The answer is cheese? always cheese, Emily. Mm -hmm. Cheese stands alone. Um... Okay. I'm like, why are we just standing here staring at the overloading kind of... Hmm. This does taste good. Like something Thomas made. I agree, Doubting it's good, but we just gotta keep this isn't in the out. same league with Thomas's cooking. His cooking is so precise, so delicate. Who the fuck is I'm Thomas? for an example here. <laughs> He's someone we haven't like met yet, and listening to classical if he'd done it in the right order, you'd know about him being a good chef. This, however, is far more wild and running free. The two are opposite poles, really. Making yours, um, like... Garbage. <laughs> anyway, both are edible, and that's the it's point. Actually, a pretty good reaction shot there. <laughs> yeah, well. Why are you uh, using a knife on macaroni enough. and cheese? But how did you know the cheese was the answer? I was looking at the ingredients, and it hit me. Milk, macaroni, flour, butter. You were trying to make macaroni and cheese, right? Macaroni and cheese? <laughs> Of course not. It's Italian beef stew. Zach, have you ever heard of a beef stew with no beef in it? I certainly haven't. At least not until today. Uh. And she gives him a prize. Oh, sweet. suit. Agent York. Fit sure, her hand it really wasn't well. perfect, but. I'm glad I managed to make something edible. Here's a little something to say thank you for your help. Uh, I guess he just wanted that suit. Is that why he stopped by here? Well, uh, he gets a better. Pr it's it's uh he does it like three three times, and then uh, then he gets a better prize. I don't remember what it is. Still, it just yeah I'm I'm really confused as to why we're doing this so out of order because I assume at some point we have to go by and talk to the sheriff and at some point we have to do the town hall and yada 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 yep yeah I don't think you can skip them indefinitely or I mean you can but it doesn't go anywhere but and well and there are a lot of quests that just aren't available yet until he does that. I guess I'm assuming Geekmeister's a he, I don't know that. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Meister is masculine, right? Uh, yeah, but... Internet usernames aren't really, uh... It's not always clear what, what, uh, what we're referring to. Uh. have to trust in the German here, Skicks. I thought we'd establish it was Swedish or something. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hmm? No, nothing. Just my imagination. Stop with your imagination. Why did the option even come up? All right, Swery 65, we're gonna see the... We're gonna see inside the mind of the director here. Yeah. Chocolate. Bitter chocolate. 
Magic Poncho disappears. Eh, just like in real life. Yep. Are we gonna play some pool? Is that gonna be a... Uh, darts, actually. Oh, that's right, that's right. Oh, is this like a little, uh, like a chest where we can leave things? Yes. I don't know if he's putting things in or taking things out. Some of each, I think. So he was like, F the gun, I'm just gonna leave the gun. I, I just wanna brain zombies. The gun's kinda weak. Alright. Maybe, maybe he's about to get something better. I can't remember what the prize is for the darts game, but it was pretty good. Ooh, number 30, yeah. The sports program. <laughs> Sounds like me. Yeah. He hey. said he was a punk back then, but what? I missed it. Well, what is what? <laughs> Essentially, you can do shopping at the bar or from Quint, if Quint is uh, working there. They play darts with a dart gun. Oh, right. Which you can actually shoot enemies with, but it does no damage. Or very, very super little damage. Well, I guess if your enemies are zombies, a dart gun isn't going to do much, right? Ooh, spicy no, tacos, much. that sounds good. Mm -hmm. They have to have some lunch after we are done today. Yeah. He's got 1400 bucks. Yeah. He's, he's earned that since the beginning of the game. Yeah, man. He is just taking money from everybody's house and all over the place. Fires three darts per round. Scores total of eight rounds. Oh, oh, my God. So okay. I'll, I'll warn you, unless uh, uh, Geekmeister uh, edits, um, this is going to be a little slow for a little while. Because he has to play three games. Okay. And three, three of eight rounds? Uh, yep. Okay. And I, you know, Stabilizer. and ideally he's getting top score in each of the three games, or first, second, and third. If he doesn't, right. he might have to do another. All right, so we got, so we uh, downed some stabilizer. So we're, we're using steroids to play darts with. Yeah. The, uh, if he holds his aim very long, his, his his hand kind of jiggles, and the stabilizer helps protect against that. I see. Well, it's not going to get top score with that. Actually, maybe he will. You don't have to get a perfect score to get top score. But it helps. 